Hello and welcome to another Boogie Bow How to Play It on Your Electronic Keyboard. The song today, 96 Tears, 1966 by Question Mark and the Mysterians. They actually from Michigan, only about 100 miles north of me, I guess. And he always wore sunshades and still does today. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we'll look at the lead sheet that I have. My own personal lead sheet, of course. The uh, first thing you're going to notice is there are a lot of G and C, and the song is in the key of G, and uh, really switches from to the four chord and back the whole way through. So it's just G, C, G, C. Except for the chorus, it does go to E minor for a little while. Uh, the first thing you're going to look at here is a little intro starts with a G now this G the high G there is also held in several parts of the song I don't know how they managed to do that I think they use another keyboard when they record it or something the other thing you're gonna see on my sheet here is uh, I have RH2 RH1 that means right hand riff two or right hand riff one. And uh, you'll need to look at the song, listen to it, and mark your own notes if you want to try to get this right. But the right hand riff one, okay, is simply for the G chord, you're playing G and the third root. And usually it's like eight stabs. Yep. When it comes to the C chord, you still play G, but you play the seventh of the C. So it's just simply. Now, we're going to look at the right hand riff two while we're here. And right hand riff two starts with a G. Anything like that is going to sound pretty close. Now, the left hand, this is where it gets tricky because uh, I'm not playing the left hand like they play it, okay? I kind of made up my own bass line. So I'm holding it like that. So I'm going to switch back here just to the piano view little better for you. So what I'm doing, I'm holding that G. So that's all happening under the G chord. Now that's the C chord. Now it'd be pretty boring if I just hold the C the whole way through, which you can do if you want, but so you can do that alder you're probably a little closer to the bass line the real bass line if you go so that's what I'm doing and that happens under both the right hand riff one and two now I have a drum going at 116, I believe, for the beat, the tempo, 116. I also have a bass going. We'll listen to that for a second. So that's just a steady pounding bass drum. And again, that's the feature of this uh, keyboard. The other thing I got going is the silly little kind of lead sound. So that's the way it sounded for me. So we're going to try to get through this. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes because, oh, I'm not so hot at playing this song yet. And, uh, but we'll give it a go. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Come in, 
a rendition have you of 96 tears it may be one of the hardest songs I've tried to get down in a, maybe in another four or five months <laughs> playing it maybe 50 times I'll actually have it but anyway subscribe on YouTube if you're watching and uh, share on Facebook thanks